all the men who brought justice to the frontier, none did a bigger job than the United States Cavalry. One of the most respected units was the 10th Cavalry, a group composed of all Negro soldiers, even had their own standard to ride under. They called themselves the Buffalo Soldiers. My name is Kenneth Hunter, and I'm the Diversity and EEO Program Manager for the Fire Department. Okay, there's definitely a link between the Buffalo Soldiers, the old Buffalo Soldiers, and the firefighters from the 40s, who are also um, Buffalo Soldiers as well. And that link has to do with the theme for this year's Black History Month, which is Black Resistance. Both groups fought against the racism and the ostracization that they faced in doing their jobs and decided to do their jobs in a professional manner in spite of not being wanted. Hello, Clifton Humphreys, retired now, a lieutenant. I was a lieutenant DC Fire Department. I was uh, assigned to Engine Company 30, Truck 17, as a Buffalo soldier for approximately seven to eight years. Well, during my time when I was on the department, um, I noticed a lot of different companies coming up with different slogans and um, coming up with different uh, uh, names, different crews, and we decided, well, we should come up with something that, that represents us. And the Buffalo Soldiers stood out because uh, Engine 30 Truck 17, the company itself on all four shifts, was predominantly black. I, saw, I actually saw the movie The Buffalo Soldiers, and it came to mind to me, I was like, I think that's something that we should adopt. Uh, that name and what it represents. All black regiment going out every day, fighting fires, providing medical assistance to, uh, to the citizens. Oh, it made me very proud, especially after I saw the movie and saw how the soldiers, uh, with the things that they had to, uh, to do to win the war. My name is David Driggers. I remember Truck 17, number two and number four from 1986 to 2016 and I was a Buffalo soldier. Well, I came on a job uh, back in uh, June of 86, and they were already carrying the uh, title of the Buffalo Soldiers. Some of us, uh, we stuck it out. We, you know, stuck together and did some, you know, hard work over here. You know, we over here in the hood where we ran them and down the street. You know, it was no uh, sitting around a firehouse all the time. We, we, over here in what they call the Heights. My name is Kenneth Cole, so known as KC, and I'm a Buffalo soldier from years of 1992 to 2022. The hard work we did on the fires, they called us Buffalo soldiers. You know, they, they would just uh, see us and say that. They say, y'all look like some Buffalo soldiers. And so we, we took that moniker and we ran with it, and we embraced it. As you see, we have, I have the leather patch when we went to the leather helmets to represent that, you know, I was a Buffalo soldier. We all have pride in that nickname and um, we work hard to earn it. I also have a uh, uncle, his name was uh, Joseph L. Stevenson and he was an uh, actual member of the 92nd Infantry Division, which was known in World War II as the Buffalo Division. When I found out, you know, it, it, I felt more connected than ever to the Buffalo Soldier for me to be somewhat uh, connected to um, such a great outfit, you know, gave me great honor and great pride. Most of us here, majority of the, the Buffalo Soldiers were native Washingtonians. We are from this city, we grew up in the city, and so um, we were proud to serve in that capacity to uh, help the citizens of the District of Columbia. Every day we came to work, we had to go out and drop into an area where we didn't know, where we knew, but we didn't actually know what the outcome would be. And we had to provide assistance to people to make it positive. And I can say the Buffalo Soldiers were known for fighting for their rights and you know things of that nature. So. It, it was a constant fight. I gave them 30 years of uh, uh, my life, and uh, the whole 30 years was pretty much a fight. Thanksgiving, we fed people. Christmas, we made sure the kids in the neighborhood had toys. We gave out, you know, to needy families. And uh, just things like that, we wanted to give back because we were given so much. We were given a chance to uh, make it in this great city of ours, the nation's capital. 
I mean, we ran 30 calls a day, medical calls, along with two or three fires a day. This is a picture of uh, Captain John Sheffield. He was the acting chief. Uh, myself, Sergeant John Yancey, and uh, Romero Staten. What we're doing here is called Sunday Inspection Day. We are the last of the Buffalo Soldiers. I just retired in uh, August of 2022. There are no more Buffalo Soldiers presently at DC Fire Department. But good memories of the Buffalo Soldiers. Yeah, we have good fond memories of Buffalo Soldiers here. Great times uh, serving the city and uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world.